Okay, so the point of this video then is to simply test out a cable that I've made up which attenuates the audio signal going back into the E4 4K Plus. Now, anyone who may be familiar with some of my previous videos to do with the audio issues of the 4K Plus will know exactly what I'm trying to get around. Now, if you don't know what it is that I'm, that I'm going on about, maybe check the links below or there'll be a link at the end of this video to a video which shows all the issues that I'm talking about. I don't really go, want to go over that right now because this video is, is meant to be kind of like as short as I can keep it and just as an example for a piece of audio. Now, what it is, the Yi has a really big problem with microphone signals coming back into it. And what it is, it, it'll, um, it'll distort like way, way quicker than any other system that I've ever used that is meant to be recording microphones. Now, what happens is every microphone, regardless of the type of microphone that it is, the analog signal, when it comes out of the microphone and goes into wherever it's going, carries a small voltage now that voltage will kind of like have peaks in it and whatnot and these are only very like tiny tiny voltages but this is how the microphone sound is transferred down the cable to wherever it's going now the problem with the e4k plus it is too sensitive to like the peaks in the voltages which actually translate to loudness from the microphone so basically what i've done I've took one of the Yi audio cables and I've cut it up and then I've inserted a 10K resistor in line. So what that does, it attenuates the signal coming back down the cable and hopefully it drops the peak voltage level enough so it doesn't distort the input on the Yi. So what we're hearing right now is the Rode Video Micro going through that cable. I'm like full arms length away, so this is typical kind of like vlogging distance as it were. So, you know, I don't know what this sounds like just yet anyway, um, but needless to say, anyone listening to it now can make their own mind up immediately. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna take the camera like off the tripod i'll throw a, a, a little uh, you know handle on it and i'll just do a little walk around with like selfie walking type stuff as well just so we can see how it handles that particular scenario as well okay so i've put the system now on a little pistol grip so this would be very typical of like you know normal vlogging handheld vlogging so what i'll do i'll just kind of move about a little bit with it as well and we'll just see you know how the microphone responds as i'm doing this now the way i've got the camera set up there's no way um, there's no stabilizer on it but i'm not going to be doing wild movements so the picture should be fine for stabilization and stuff it shouldn't be throwing itself all over the place but what it is this the important thing what we're doing here is just listening to see what the microphone sounds like when i'm using it in a typical handheld vlogging position okay and what i'll do i'll just get a little bit closer to it as well now this may distort it because I am very close to the microphone, but we'll just like, you know, you can be the judge of that anyway. So I'll put it back to where it was there, full arm's length away. So for me, this would be what I would consider a typical handheld vlogging position. And like I said, I'll just move about a little bit more with it. I've got another camera recording his ear as well. Uh, so that's what we can see there. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I've kind of like run out of words possibly now for this because what it is, I just wanted to keep this as kind of short as I could, this particular video, because really it's just an audio demonstration or an audio test. So what would be really good anyway, if anybody comes across this video and like, you know, they've got a Yi 4K Plus and they understand what I've been talking about, if they would like to leave some comments in the descriptions below, um, only because I'd be very interested to see what other people think i know exactly what i think i mean i still haven't heard this just yet so i've still got to listen back to it myself but regardless of however it comes out it's definitely going up online now here's the other thing as well for anybody who's interested the best way to record anything with the e4k plus is to put it into low mode and then bring that back up in post regardless of what microphone you're putting into it definitely just use low mode on the on the microphone's internal gain structure and then just bring it back up in post. Two things with that, it'll help to kind of like stop the distortion, although it still can happen. But the other thing is as well, it makes it a quieter signal as well. Um, so you get like less noise in it also. Okay, so this probably is well enough anyway for people to have heard what this is or isn't doing. Now the other thing as well, there'll be a link also in the description below and at the end to another test that I'm doing like with this setup right now using a different microphone. And that microphone is the Sennheiser ME. 
Okay, so the last thing that remains for me to say with this particular video is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.